Yeah, she should have controlled the other leg. Would have put Talita on her hips. Nogueira, it looks like she managed to figure four that leg just in time. Yeah. Putting the pressure on here to try and shut down that leg attack, but nice inversion underneath. And you, you wear out with a lot of energy in that position. If you can't get your opponent off balance right away, it's a horrible spot for Catherine to be in because it's, it's exhausting. You're using a lot of muscle, burning a lot of energy just to, you know, just to try to pull that knee through and put your opponent on your hips. And it's very difficult to breathe down there as well. So not a fun spot for Catherine unless you can get her opponent off balance. Noguera seems very, very calm, very well composed. And she's got to look to sprawl on her opponent's hips there to free that leg. But Catherine seems adamant to keep that leg in. But she's got to fight for the other leg and try to get her opponent off balance. Talita with that figure four is not giving her anything to work with. And Talita's got to do that. She's got to push her hips to the ground. That's going to flatten out her opponent. Makes it harder for her to roll. But there we go. Maybe this is it. Doing a good job of keeping that leg out of danger so far, but if Mitro is able to invert all the way through to get Talita on the back, maybe she could use it to uh, score reversal points, but just hanging out here in this uh, very unusual position. Yeah, she seems pretty confident that she's not off balance there and that she's going to be able to weather the storm, but Catherine's the one in a bad spot here the way I see it because she's been unable to get Talita off balance. She's wearing herself out. And she's got, you know, someone in the heavyweight division on top of her, you know, in that dope mount position. Tough spot to be in. In this case, the leg drag position. And yeah, doesn't sound like, a, doesn't look like a lot of fun there for Catherine. Talita's gotta do is keep sprawling on that leg. Perhaps get that left arm underneath uh, Catherine's left arm and that will give her a better position. And yeah, that's probably right there. That, that grip is gonna break any second now. And then she'll be able to pass. Or at least get clo closer to it. Oh. Catherine connects her hands. But even if this is a stalemate, this is a stalemate that favors Noguera. Right, she's in top control, she's got the head, she's in a leg drag position, and I, you know, it, she doesn't seem like she's threatened anyway. So Catherine's in trouble here. She's really got to free her head and get her butt, hips back in the air, try to get Noguera off balance, or just bail on this game plan and recover a full guard and go from there. Noguera really putting on the pressure with that cross face as well. Mitro, oh, she may have actually got the pass in, no. A little windshield wiper of the foot almost got her, uh, her leg out of danger, but like a smother choke here. It's like an arm triangle without the arm wrapped around the, the neck, just around the top of the head. Very uncomfortable position, but Mitro eats it. Looks like she's got the upside down uh, guard here. It's a good spot to attack a toehold from. Absolutely. And she needs to create something. Right now, score is even, but I can't imagine her, uh, Catherine, not being more tired than Noguera. Got plenty of time still. Four minutes and 30 seconds left. Can Catherine get Noguera off balance, create something? Yeah. Talita there, swimming inside, try to split her opponent's legs and then move into that north-south position. Wow, she manages to just back up out of the upside-down guard. Back to safety, neutral position. Four minutes remaining. It was a heavyweight match. So, score is even. Who do you have so far, Well. Yeah, it's a uh, very tough one to call so far. I mean, Talita's definitely been in control, I would say. But at the same time, hasn't really looked for anything. Whereas 
Mitro has definitely been active in trying to attack for the legs, trying to make something happen, but consequently put himself in bad positions as a result. So, yeah. Exactly my thoughts. Uh, tough one to call because of that. I actually thought Talita was going to pass at some point there, but right now I, I'm really calling this fight even. Hopefully something will happen within the next three minutes, make the, make the, the ref's job a lot easier. And with the jump again, she can get her off balance. If she can come up. No, and she's going for that, like that honey hole position from the bottom again. But she doesn't seem to be able to get Talitha off balance. I think she should just stop trying that and try something else. And Talitha's got to create something. She's been too defensive on top, even though she's landing in good positions. She's overly defensive and... The, the, the judges might be looking at that if it goes decision. Now this is a bad position for, for Mitro. A little better to pass for Nogueira, if she can pass that frame, that forearm across, she could even secure a, uh, an arm triangle choke, but... Yeah, but Catherine's got a good push on her face. I was going to say frame. It's more of a push, really. But, yeah, Talita with the pressure there. So, uh, this is interesting. Like, I don't know if they're going to be able to pass there. You know, Catherine's done a really good job keeping that triangle for big portion of the match here. The question is, can Talita, there we go, stapling the leg, maybe she can free her knee there. No. It's not an easy position to free your leg from, so, you know, even though... It's very difficult to free your leg from that position, but at the same time, the person on bottom really doesn't have much of anything. She's got the double underhooks from top, very strong upper body control, flattened out, completely stuck on the mat, but she can't get any points unless she gets that leg free. Yeah, I, this is a bit of a stalemate. It's a tough one for both of them. Because you can see Talita Nogueira is trying to pass, but she doesn't have a whole bunch of options. And con, uh, conversely, you know, Catherine is doing the same thing. She's trying to create something, but she's really stuck. So with a minute left, it's looking like this might go to ref's decision. Hopefully not. Yeah, well, if it does go to the decision, you have to think that this is... Um most likely going to be Talita Nogueras. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Talita, even though, well, no, Catherine never really got her off balance, so I guess she's had a superior position for right. the most part, just unable to do anything with it. Last 15, 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. 10 seconds left. Everything's pointing towards ref's decision, and I'm going to go with Noguera, I will, but I wouldn't be surprised if he went the other way. Let's wait and see what the referees have to say. Catherine doesn't seem too happy. Either with her performance or because she really doesn't feel that she's going to get the win. Split decision in favor decision. of Talita Noguera of NS Brotherhood. Yeah, and I can see why the dissenting ref or judge went with uh, Catherine because she was actually trying to attack legs there from the bottom, whereas Talita was just defending but her defense really did put her in better positions throughout the fight, right? So it's, it's a difficult situation, too. It's not an easy one to judge. A lot of times, even when it's decision, sometimes one of them is clearly the, uh, you know, the, the victor, right? Like, even though oh, it's, it's a draw, but still, like, okay, this person really did attack a lot more. But here it was, it was a close one. <laughs> 